right here. Yeah, this lady's post is a perfect example of why you got to move cautiously and be careful who you have around you. You know, some people don't even have to, um, you know, go out of their way to sabotage you. Just them being around you, their energy can F up things for you. People die. You know, you lose opportunities. You know, things just go sideways. And also want to speak on these people who's trying to villainize her. Like, you can't really talk to people about these things because a lot of times people are, most people are organic portals or demons, empty meat suits. And, you know, you can't really discuss stuff like this with organic portals because they, it's almost like they're oblivious to how things, you know, go in this, in this simulation we live in. Like, they don't experience this type of stuff. People that's connected to the source experience. So you can't really talk to them about it because they ain't going to be able to relate. You know, they don't experience the street theater. But anyway, check this lady's post out. This right here is a perfect example. So I know this person. We work together. She is constantly in my space. She isn't a bad person. I mean, she she is generally pleasant, easygoing, likable. I mean, she goes out of her way to do nice things and lend a helping hand whenever it is needed. She has a tendency to stare or catch you, or, or you catch her staring, but that's about it. The issue is the heaviness whenever she's around. There is always this bad air. I don't know how to describe it. It feels like a dark cloud is setting on you, and it can be pretty overwhelming. And I'm not the only one who complains about this, but I am the only sensitive person who feels it might be coming from her. Let me give context. We can all be talking and laughing. She walks in and joins, and suddenly everyone soon starts to argue or someone says something off, and the entire camaraderie is ruined. When we are working on a project together, she joins. It begins to get more harder than it was before. The two incidents are more personal. First incident, I'm heading home and pick her up along the way. And almost immediately, the car starts acting up. I check everything else is okay, but it just won't move. She calls an Uber and wants me to join, but I have already called someone to come look at it. While waiting, I decide to try the car again, and it moves. Second incident, she insisted on coming to help me set up my birth, set up for my birthday. She is getting the cake out of the oven, and it falls flat. The bottles of alcohol my sister brought over mysteriously fell and broke everywhere. More guests ended up canceling last minute. My dog that rarely acts out of character is unusually agitated and ends up tearing into the gift box. Note after she left, he calmed down easily. I didn't even put much stock into the stairs until I found her doing so more than five times. Just a dead, dead ass stare. And when our gazes meet, she either starts to smile or looks away. I don't know, it sounds like she might be, I don't know, she might not be the demon. She might be demon possessed, you know. Sometimes you have people that's demon possessed, and then you got some people that's actually the demon in the flesh. But I'm not sure what the case is with her. But I knew there was a reason why I had blocked these people in here, because they getting on my nerves trying to turn on her. See, a lot of times these people be demons themselves trying to villainize you. So you got to be careful. You can't really talk to everybody about these things, you know. But it's, but it's a public forum, so there's going to be all types of assholes responding. But, yeah, they like to try to project things on you. And you remember before I said a lot of times these these demons be, you know, these demons be coming to defend their um, demon comrades. Like, they may not even know the person you're talking about, but they all are part of the same half man. So they pretty much, you know, they know each other in spirit. So that's why a lot of times you'll have people trying to, um, villainize you and twist it but yeah that's all i wanted to say you know